Hey guys, Molly here. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'm going to be doing the um, rapid fire tag, book tag or whatever. And my phone um, is on, I mean I always film on a um, selfie stick my mom's and like thing whatever at my dad's. So it's like leaning a little bit so I'm like afraid that it's going to fall. But I'm hoping it's not and I hope it just stays there with the video. So yeah, let's begin. Um, the first thing is ebook or physical book. I would have to say physical book because I just ha like having to hold the book in my hand and like reading it physically and like carrying it around. On like an ebook, I just um I don't know. I just like having a physical book. Uh, paperback or hardback? I would have to say hardback because paperbacks are just I don't know. I just like holding that hardness of like book. I don't know, I'm like, oof. I'm like in between on this one because I like paperbacks but I like the floppy ones but I like hardbacks because, I don't know, I just, ugh. I'm terrible at explaining things just ahead of, just to tell you ahead of time, so yeah. Um, trilogies, wait, just kidding, <laughs> back up. Um, online or in-store shopping, I would have to say in-store shopping because Say you want to buy a book and you get it there in the store at that time. And like, unless you want to buy it online, then you have to wait like three or four days. You don't know, it might get lost in the uh, process of shipping it to your house. And then you just wasted your money. So, yeah. Trilogies or series, I have to say series because I just like the ongoing um, story. Well, like trilogies. It ends. I mean, series and also like the Harry Potter series and um, the Mortal Instruments series and the Twilight series. So, yeah. Um, heroes or villains? Heroes. Um, a book you want, I want to read? I would have to say, oh, this is a hard one. Uh, my favorite book at the time, at the time. At this moment would have to be Everything Everything by Nicola Yoon. The movie is actually coming out on my birthday, which I'm happy about, May 19th. Nothing ever comes out on my birthday, nothing exciting ever does. It's my favorite book and my favorite actor is in that um, movie also, Nick Robinson. I watched this trailer for Everything Everything and Nick's Harry, Nick's Harry, I mean... Nick's hair is so cringy. Like, I just can't take him seriously with long hair. Like, short hair would have been fine. But with long hair, like, mmm. Not my kind of style. I just don't like eyes with long hair. It just, I don't know. It just. I uh, recommend an underrated book. I would have to say All the Bright Places by Jennifer Niven. I don't know if this is an underrated book, but I don't find a lot of people talking about it. It's actually a pretty good book. I enjoyed it a lot. Um, the ending got me pretty sad. Uh, so, yeah. The last book you finished, I think, was Everything Everything by Nicola Yu. Um, the last book you bought, which would have to be Unravel Me by... Tahara Mafi. I actually um, bought another book with this one. It was called The Raft by J. B. Bourne. I don't know the author's name. Some J. Something. I don't know. So it was this one and The Raft, which is at my dad's house on that bookcase. I mean, the next one is the weirdest thing you've used as a bookmark. I think that you. I don't really I use like common like bookmarks obviously um I've used my arm I used my leg just flipped over and used my bed you know or the desk I don't know um I don't really I think I've used my finger one time I don't really use weird things to, as bookmarks so yeah um used books yes or no I don't I've never I mean the library books are used books I would say but um, if they're not messed up or torn in any way, then I don't mind using used books. So yeah, uh, top three 
favorite genres, I would have to say contemporary, uh, dystopian, and science fiction. Uh, borrow or buy, I prefer buying books, but actually if you, what if you buy a book and you don't like it and you just wasted your money? So if you borrow the book ahead of time, well, you borrow the book and then you buy it if you like it. Like, you borrow it and you read it and you enjoy it, so you buy it. And then, if you want to read it again, you can. So, yeah. Or you just borrow it again. If you don't want it from your local library. Uh, characters or plot. I would have to say plot because, I mean, I like characters, obviously, because they're in a story. But, I mean, like, I do, oh, I don't know what they mean, like, I mean, I obviously know what they mean, but, I don't know. Uh, I would just have to say plot, because mm, I just enjoy plots, and, I mean, I obviously enjoy the characters, because if I didn't, then I wouldn't read the book, but I have to enjoy the plot more than the characters. You can have, like, a really bad character, and I wouldn't even care if I enjoyed the plot. So, yeah. Um, long or short books, I would have to say, like, short books, they're, like, 300 pages, 200, something like that. Like, 250, 350, somewhere around that long line. I don't like extremely long books, like, uh, Harry Potter or the Phoenix. I, well, this book has 870 pages. Like, those type of books, I'm probably not... I mean, I enjoyed it, obviously, and it's, um, yeah. I just prefer, um, short books other than long books so I can get through books quicker. Long or short chapters, I prefer short chapters because it makes me feel like I'm going through the book faster. So, yeah. Name the first three books that come to your mind that you think of. Um, Everything, Everything by Nicola Yoon, Harry Potter and the Half-Blood Prince, and... Uh, the Maze Runner by James Dashner. Um, so yeah. Books that made you laugh or cry. I cried while reading this book. Um, it was, spoiler alert, spoil alert, spoil alert. If you have not read the book or re um, watched the movie, then skip this part, just like 10 seconds. When Chuck died at the end, um, got me pretty sad. I watched the movie also when he, when Chuck died, but I, um, didn't cry when I watched the movie. When I cried, I cried when I watched, I mean, I, when I read the book. Most people like the movie over the book, but I like the book series. Uh, more than the movies, to be honest. Our world or fictional worlds? Um, I would have to say fictional because our world is not pretty nice. And, I mean, fictional worlds are not always nice also. But I just prefer fictional worlds over our world. Because it's just more, like, fun, I guess. And, like, more, like, adventurous and, like, more entertaining than ours. Ours is pretty not so fun right at the moment. Um... Audiobooks, yes or no? I would have to say no because in my English classes, whenever we read books, sometimes if it, like, yeah, uh, my teacher will always put on audiobook and I just cannot focus. I'm a visual learner besides an audio auditorial learner, so I learn better and I like, f like, retain stuff in my brain by visual, like reading than audio so I just I tried audio bowl or anything and it's just so like just the way that they're reading is just not I don't know it just reminds me of school and like those boring books that I had to read in school and yeah it's just no no um do you ever judge a book by its cover all the time um I if I don't like the cover then most likely I won't buy it or like read it um I won't even like pick it up to see what it's look what it's even about because I just if I don't like the cover then I just the cover it, the book has to have a good cover for me to pick it up and like read it 
So, yeah. Um, book to movie or book to TV adaptations? I would have to say book to movie because it's, they, I don't, I don't really know, like, many, besides book to TV adaptations, besides the 100, well, they, no, actually, they started writing the book, I mean, they started doing the show before the books even came out. I don't know, I guess they, he discussed it with the author, the director, and the writers, whatever, with the author of the 100 books. Uh, you also have the Pretty Little Liar books that are a TV show, and the Shadow Hunters. Um, so, I don't know, I just prefer um, movies over TV adaptations of books. So, yeah. Um, a book or a TV show you have preferred to its book? Um, I would have to say... Um, um, I would have to say The Boy in the Strapped Pajamas. I liked the movie more than the book. Um, I cried. Well, I watched the movie before the book, so I cried during the movie. I didn't cry during the book. So, yeah. Like, I knew it was coming, obviously. But the, the ending or whenever the sad part happens in the book... It just wasn't as sad as the movie because I seen it like happen and like it was just more sad than it, the book. I don't know. Um, last one is series or standalones. I would have to say series because they're more like detailing and like more like they do a lot more things in the series and like standalones. It's just one book and it just doesn't like it makes you want more, but you know it's not gonna happen. But with series, you know, more books is going to happen. Who knows how many, but standalones, it just makes you want more. And you get so, I get so frustrated. And, like, I just, I want more, I want more, but I know I can't have more. So, yeah. Um, that was it for this video. I hope you enjoyed it. Um, make sure you give this a big old thumbs up. Um, and make sure you subscribe down below. It's free. So, you know, when I post, uh, weekly videos, I post Monday, Wednesday, and Friday. Comment down below the weirdest thing you have used as a bookmark so far. And yeah. Alright, bye guys.